Hello! Yes, I did that because my hair is done long enough where you can now see it. I'm a rabbit in a ponytail. I'm so dumb that it takes me 30 minutes to do it, but I don't care. Welcome to episode... Eight. Of, yeah. Of the, yeah, this is episode eight of the Gaming Corner. And... Um, I have... I, so I made this seem more professional. But, oh, and Bruce, say hi. We got Bruce back. So, and we always have interesting discussions, and we have a different type of You actually wrote it in your sitting. notes. Yeah, I wrote down some topics I want us to cover. So first off, uh, Devil May Cry, the new... DMC Devil May Cry. Yeah, all, all the cool hipster kids that didn't even like it before call it DMC. <laughs> okay, so what are my thoughts on it? Oh, let me just say this. Dante is one of the most annoying most uh, uh, characters I've ever seen. He just says... It's like he's one of those like little teenage punks you see at high school where every time they open their mouth you just want to fucking punch them. Yep. And well, the way how I played it is it's like the story is okay, but uh, just the characters and the, just ruin it because you know it's all so modern and and. Like teenage punkish, <clears throat> and don't even get me started on the fucking music. It's so goddamn annoying. It's like, <laughs> if it's not, it's it's dubstep. Dubstep. So pick one or the other. Um, you know, I don't I don't mind the music. I think the music goes uh, perfectly with the the character. The, and the, the and the thing is, theme. it gets it's great in the first thirty minutes, but after one hour, it gets boring immediately. Because the way that I saw it was... Not so it's much like, boring, but more it's, like repetitive. Okay, yeah. shut up. You haven't played it for more than an hour. That's true. You've only played the demo, so what the fuck does your opinion matter? Anyway. I should have noted that also. Yeah, I okay, so... Imagine the demo for 20 missions long. And the thing is, like, all those weapons you get... That's it. That's the, Those are the only weapons you get in the entire game. And that's all you get, and once you get them, you get really bored of them really fast, and there's and the en regular enemies you fight are just, they're the same things. Like, they never switch it up, nothing unique ever comes from it, and it's really boring. And I just got tired of it really fast, so I just gave up on it. I just didn't give a fuck anymore. And yet he still has it. Because <laughs> there's nothing else to well, play. Well, what's the, what's the next game on your Gamefly? Um, Dead Space 3. Speaking of which, we played the demo. Yeah, I finally played the demo. I meant to play it earlier on um, on the Xbox, um, but I forgot. <laughs> I was busy. And um, I was able to play the game with the, the headphones, the, the wireless headset that you probably have all heard about, the Pulse. That's what I call it's it. It's been out for the a few Pulse. years. Yeah. And um, it really does make it more intense, more. Did you hear? The, could you tell the surround sound in it? Yeah. Like you could hear things coming from different areas. I like that a lot about it. Yeah. And um, it, obviously, with a game like Dead Space Three, um, something like a surround sound is perfect for a game of that manner. And I I like that a lot. I I like demo a lot. I think the thing I liked about it is that um, you know obviously it takes a lot of the elements from you know, the, the previous two games. Except this time it has co-op. Now, a lot of fans might be crying, Yeah, shaking baby, it's gonna be scary. Well, the co-op, you know, people have their own different opinions about it, but most people tend to not mind. And them. the really cynical bastards say that this is um, copying Capcom's formula for Resident Evil 6 would take everything that was unique about the series and are just making it all about action. But the thing I liked about the demo is that obviously we we you know we've seen it being played before at um, you know E3 or something and um, I like just the way it begins you know obviously you're in this snow planet and it's just different from what we've seen because you were in previous games. Oh, know? and if you notice, you're not in space. Yeah, it's 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 a little different, um, but I'm pretty sure there'll be some space missions. I don't know. I mean, they do call it Dead Space Three for a reason, right? Well, I like it because it's different, you know, I always thought Dead Space 2 was good, but it, it was pretty much just, you know, a continuation of Dead Space. But now in Dead Space 3, they're, you know, taking some risks, 
and you know trying out different things and so far it's working you know and I hope it really works out for the rest of the game and and here is a good old-fashioned EA rant okay seriously you have to sign up for origin and yeah how fucking original is that they call their program origin when it is clearly a ripoff of steam I actually have an origin account but only because of one game and one game only Battlefield 1942, and I have a lot of fun in that game. But that's the only reason why I got it working. See, the thing is, you have to go, yeah, and once you start, but the, okay, so you're saying, oh, you have to sign in, big fucking deal. Okay, well, it's more than that. This is my big fucking deal. Whenever you open it up, you have to... The pizza. The pizza's here! Different location, now! Should we take it with us? No. Okay. We'll be back. Can you uh, stop the recording? No, but I'm about to so we can... Uh, yeah, record. stop recording. We're going to edit this. We're back. Were you screaming like that before? No. Oh. I just... Yeah, Brandon. yeah, so we're in a different location than our normal location in my bedroom where we film up most of these. And yeah, we got the pizza now. So anyway, so we, I was talking about how mad I was at EA, so the, my beef with that is... Is it over or not? Uh, no, not yet. You have it's to, only just begun? Yeah, you... Well, I was always pissed off, but this is where it hit close to home. The thing is, you have to sign up for them, <clears throat> for Origin, just to play on co-op. And the thing is, you can't sign up just directly from the game like every other game that requires you to sign into something. You have to go on your goddamn computer, sign into Origin.com, create an account, and then you can insert in your password. That's just a big pain in the ass. And the other thing is, guess what? Dead Space 3 is like a $1 game on the App Store. You want to know why? Because there's additional items you, you want to buy. God damn it, EA. We already spend $60 for this game. You know what? I heard and then you I heard... have to buy additional items if you want them. Oh, come on. That's just bullshit. Speaking of Dead Space at the App Store, the first Dead Space game I heard is really good on on, uh, on iOS. It looks, it looks pretty fun. I can see me playing it, you know? Would you ever get it for the iOS? Hmm. Okay. Now. So, yeah, fuck you, EA. Now, the new SimCity game, also made by EA, everyone's excited for that, but guess what? You have to be the only... It has to ha always have an internet connection or in order to play it. Even if you're not playing it online. It's funny. It's funny because um, I've been playing The Sims Free Play on on my iPad, right? Which is really fun. And it's pretty much the same deal. You have to have an internet connection in order to play it. Whereas, you know, obviously most games on the iPad, you don't have to have an internet connection to play. But they make you have an internet connection, so I don't know why. So how do you feel about that? Um... What about those people that like to, that want to get the new SimCity, and um, and also, what if EA's ser not very good servers just shut down while you're in the middle of a game? You're fucked. You're very fucked. Another reason why I fucking hate Electronic Arts. The only way you can make me like you by one percent is if you make NBA Live fucking good again, <laughs> which is rare because. 2K is really fucking good. Or you make Mass Effect 4 and you don't fucking rush Bioware. Because the thing I hate about EA is they always rush their developers to hurry up and finish their game instead of doing the right choice by delaying it and giving them the proper amount of time they need. I mean, EA, these people are your developers. Yep. The only really good thing they've done lately is make Madden better. But aside from that, you can't really say much. So. 
Okay. You know how fucking ape shit I am for The Last of Us? Guess what? There's a demo! But guess what? Only on God of War Ascension. Now, that makes me think, is it just like up on a card that comes, card that comes with a box? Or is it something where it's on the disc? I hope to God it's on the disc, because I'm going to rent God of War Ascension uh, from Gamefly, but this is making me want it even more. What are your thoughts on this, Bruce? But if they don't, <laughs> if it isn't on the disc... I can't say fuck you to Naughty Dog, they're too nice. <laughs> Yeah, but wouldn't you want to buy God of War, sir? I mean, it's God of War. I don't have that much money. Well, I know. But let's just say you did. Yeah, I would. Okay. On to our main headlining. Our headliner. Okay. We all know that in the news lately, everyone won't... Video violence in video games has become, and yet again, unfortunately, a big topic for everyone to fucking talk well, about. Even people that don't like. The, the, okay, so how the hell? I are think we I think I think I, look, I think when the gun control debate resumed, I'm pretty sure all video gamers were afraid that they were going to point towards video games again, like they did when Columbine happened. And guess what? It did. To no surprise. So now, obviously, video games, you know, video gamers, and me, I don't really consider myself a hardcore video gamer, but... Uh, I am! You know, obviously, you know, we're trying our best, or you're, you, you guys are trying to, trying your best to defend video games. Okay, The same so, way I would defend movies. Alright, so here's my games. problem, okay? There's, you have all these ratings, okay? And guess what? So, you let all these people play these games <clears throat> Bruce just point out something oh well it seems like the plastic but you get what I mean you have you see all these ratings here by the ESRB and this was started for parents knowing their kids to have a strict age limit but the thing is these parents go out and blame they're, they're, they blame them for have, playing video games and their kids for playing video games and they don't like their behavior and they're addicted to it or whatever and they, and they're, when, when these, these parents, they are the ones that fucked it up in the first place because, I mean, you have a rating system right there and yet, whenever you play, I don't know, let's take the biggest cash cow game around, Call of Duty, whenever you play that, what do you hear on your headset? A bunch of of kids. They're, they should not be playing this, and yet the parents allow them anyway, and yet when something happens, they're rightly to blame when it's their fault themselves. I don't understand why everyone is making such a big deal about this when it is clearly set in stone, and yet the p parents aren't taking these games seriously enough. Well, I mean, yeah, you have a point. Although, it's more than just the rating system, it's just the, the content itself. All right, now That's why it's there! Not, okay, not every gamer, and this goes for the, you know, the, the mature kids as well. Not every, not, not every gamer thinks to themselves, oh, now I want to kill someone when they're playing <laughs> games. That's not always the case, you know? And here's the thing. Okay, video games don't tell you to go kill people, okay? It's you start playing, you start playing Mass Effect. Oh, man. I really want to use my biotic powers to shockwave this bitch down right now. No! It doesn't tell you to do that. It's the person themselves. The thing that I hate is no one has personal responsibility anymore. All they do is they just blame it on something else. Oh, we had a school shooting. What was the problem here? Video games! Yes, exactly. Because video games make people go into an elementary school and you make them kill, kill a bunch of first graders. And the thing that I hate is... Well, remember, I mean, Columbine, this came up yeah, with Columbine. Yeah, I, I know, I know, I know, but we're talking about right now, Yeah, okay? right now. Right, right now is what's most yeah. important. Because I know, I'm on the past, but right now is what's important. The, the thing is... Um... I got a... Well, I got a good point. I'm, uh, you go, it's like, I got a good point. Okay, Japan. Have you seen their video games? 
I mean, and their movies. They're pretty damn fucking violent, aren't they? And yet, and I bring this up a lot, they only have about 20 gun-related deaths a year. 20. For the whole year. So, obviously, the games and the movies aren't the problem. Alright? It's the people. It's the people. And the access to guns. Yeah. See, that's what... The thing is, you're, the thing with, that I have a problem with is you had access to the, the killer had an access to the gun, which was, an which was not his, automatic, which was like. not his. It was belonged to his mom. Mm -hmm. And yet, he's able to do it, and yet he wasn't the owner. So what the fuck? Yeah, that's, uh, I mean, that's bad enough. But um, I just think that, you know, you have to look at the content of every country in terms of their video games and movies, and then you realize, oh, wow, they're the same as ours. But why do we have... So why are we blaming video games so fucking much? That's what I want to know. It's as it's simple as this. It's a scapegoat for politicians. Hey. Come on. Fine. You are fucking right. God damn it. This is what I've always been trying to say. The it's always been Politicians don't like to do their actual fucking job by solving problems. They want to think they're solving problems by just finding an easy answer to blame when it is clearly not the correct answer to this problem. Well, I think we're done with that. Mm -mm. Well, with that, that, that issue. Okay. And, um... The problem that I have is that, um... You see, you have all these politicians talking about this when they clearly have no idea what they're talking about. They all still think that video games are for kids. When that mentality went out the window like 10 years ago. Yeah. And clearly, these game, there's games that are marketed towards people like us. You know, older people that like... Because yes, contrary to your old ass minds, people, kids, not just kids, play video games. And if you don't believe me, there was uh, this... Uh, I don't know if you've heard of this, Bruce, but there was a story... Uh, two. Two. Oh, you don't want ammo? Oh, I mean, we're going to get more. We're, we're just... making video. Yeah. Oh, you're making video? Yeah. We got to tell them again. It's all good. So, um, yeah, as you, as you were saying. Yeah, so well, video games, yeah, because I don't know if you heard the story, but on BBC they covered the story of an 86-year-old woman. You know what? Her, what? She has a PlayStation 3 wow. and plays all the great popular games. They were showing her playing Grand Theft Auto 4. Wow, was she from the UK or something? Yeah. Speaking uh, of, I said BBC, dumbass. Well, I mean, BBC, but they do the whole world. You know, they, they do world news. They do our news, too. Like, they cover... Anyway, um, speaking of the UK, only about 40 gun murders a year. Not too shabby. So, um, it's obvious we're doing something... You know what? It's funny, because gun owners, they get so butthurt about all these new gun control laws. I'm like, get the fuck... Oh, get your head out of your fucking ass and just deal with the reality that something had to change. I mean, it's no different from what any other country has done. And In also, fact, ours also. aren't even as strict as, say, the UK's. Those are very strict compared to what we just put out, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? But uh, that's just the culture of Americans. We love guns. I mean, that's just how it is. It'll always be that way. You know what I mean? Well, the thing is... Okay, so right now everyone's playing video games. Before, it was... It was rap music. Mm -hmm. Before that, it Marilyn was heavy Manson, metal. Marilyn Manson in particular. Some were blaming him after calling And then in the early. 80s, Judas Priest, Ozzy Osbourne, you know the rest. Yeah. And before that, it was Elvis. <laughs> Elvis is destroying our youth. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> and guess what? And before that, you know what it was? Okay, so, throughout all of time, so it's not just video games, because see, yeah, heavy metal is still around, rock and roll is still fucking around, <laughs> um, and um, rap music is still around, so guess what, after this, 
video games are still going to be around. It's just the thing that the media decided that we need to hate on this because of a, this tragedy that happened. And the thing that I hate is the news is just spending so much time talking about video games when they should actually be covering some actual goddamn motherfucking news! <laughs> Jesus Christ! That's true. It's just like, we've heard this before. And it's I mean, all these politicians are just talking about how bad they are when they clearly don't know <laughs> whether, what they're fucking talking about, so why don't they just shut like, the fuck up? I got a solution to these gun problems that we've been facing in this country. Ban all video games. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, and I don't know if you knew this, but I forgot what state this was in. But, um, did you know that there was going to be a burn? They were going to there uh, are... burn, burn video, uh, video game burning things. Mob or whatever. Yeah, I heard okay. That first of all, that's fucking stupid because your was bot. This, was it, was it your in bot the South? I think it was right. Um, do I, mean, I even have to say yes? Okay, and yeah, about the South, uh, they love their guns, so they too are gonna find a scapegoat for all these gun problems. And we're and we're in Texas. God damn it! That's true. That's like the worst. And yet, we don't feel this way. About what? Oh, I guess maybe it was because oh. my dad was from California, but... That's true. And, um, my, and my mom was from the Philippines. So, it's different, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, you know, I, I've been having to talk about this issue with a lot of people, and obviously a lot of people do not like the guns, but guess what? Of course you're going to say that, because you're Texans. It's in our blood to love our guns and stick by our guns. And I mean, I know if we want some like examples of how terrible the media is about these video games, let's talk. Let me see. Okay, so um, all right. Well, first, let's get this out of the way. The ahem, National Ri the fucking National Rifle Association. What they, did they do? They, the they blamed video games. Oh, okay, so you're telling me that you're, the problem with the with people using guns is because it's the the video games where you are where you are in a world where the char character you're playing as uses guns in software, and yet, uh, and yet, you are the people. That are associated. Your name is association with real, actual guns. Isn't don't don't you see the irony here? That's true. I mean, yeah, you're blaming fake guns well, in games they're, for real guns. They're they're, they're going to blame anything they can get a hold of. To be honest with you, I mean that's just that's just what. And oh, guess what? Are. I'm going to tweet to NRA and I'm going to say at NRA. Fuck you. You know, it's funny. A lot of people have done that already. Really? Though. Yeah. So join them. Yeah, I mean. Um, speaking of NRA, um, there was some controversy over their new... Oh, yeah, the, okay, 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 so the thing is, the NRA, they made video games! Well, guess what? Just a few weeks after that, they have their own video game! Actually, they came out with one... And the PS2! PS2. A long time. You're fucking hypocrites! Jesus Christ! No, I mean, I'm not going to say that they're completely hypocrites and on this particular... No, but the thing is, they're talking about how they're blaming kids. And yet, what did the App Store say? This NRA game this is ages four and up! Four! Yeah, I think that's where the... You were, okay, so you want to take guns away from kids, and yet the gay age limit is four and four, up? Four. Fuck you, NRA. Fuck yeah. you. Jesus now, Christ. Fortunately, You're trying to help the problem when you are doing nothing but just adding more flame, adding more fuel to the fire. Now, fortunately enough, Apple was able to fix it to where it said 12 and up. Thank God. But still, yeah. Well, yeah, because you still want kids playing guns that are 12. Yeah, but look, T games have guns, so I'm not gonna okay, go yeah, completely yeah. overboard. Look, the thing is that look, as much as I hate the NRA, and trust me, I hate the NRA. Look, if they if they, if they want, just roll with it, like Ed Wood. Yep. All right, I just want to check if you're in the frame. Really, really, Jim? Come on. You're good. Well, I just kind of checked. Okay. All right, so, anyway, but the thing is also, um, Joe Biden cur currently met with um, video game 
uh, professionals to discuss violent video games. Kind of like, you know, do some research on, like, how if there's any Yeah, questions. but there's a slight problem with that. The gaming, the, most of these people were gaming journalists. And I don't know about, if you know about this, but the game, the world of gaming journalism is quite corrupt. Yeah. Because they are all about business and they don't care about personal gamers or anything. Like, all these gaming websites were asked to participate in this, and they just said no, because they don't care. Which is really too bad. Because you are representing us, yeah. and you're telling them we don't care? Fuck you guys. It yeah, it doesn't make you look good, that's for I sure. know, that's what I hate. The people that are being sent to represent us are making us, as gamers, look bad. And I do not like that, I hate that. Alright? And I, 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 and the way I see this Joe Biden meeting stuff is, I think I see it as being uh, good and bad. I just mentioned the bad. The good thing is, it's letting gamers have a voice. And yet, all the bad stuff I just mentioned. Well, you know, see, it's like our, there's all these like listen to the message. The fans care. We are the ones that want these people to um, represent us, and yet they just don't give a fuck. Yeah. You know, I mean, how that's just bad. I think, you know, when you think about it... When your fan base cares to defend, when you, when us, we try to defend you, and yet whenever, you, but whenever we ask to return the favor, you don't do anything? That's fucking disrespectful. Yeah. Well, you know, I think the whole research on uh, video games, I think it's kind of something that they kind of had to do, you know what I mean, with, with the recent events. And if they didn't do anything um, such as that, they probably would have received a lot of flack, you know what I mean? I'm like, hey, why aren't you doing anything like this to, you know, see if there's any problem, you know what I mean? So it's something that they kind of had to do, whether they wanted to do it or not. And, um, you, know, I, 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 you know, I understand why, you know. I'm on board with it, um, because it's not like they're saying, okay, well, yeah, video games are responsible. No, they're just, they want to do some research, you know? So, uh, I'm, you know, I don't really have a problem with it. I think that's why I haven't really had much to say about it. It's because... It's because maybe you haven't been following this stuff as closely as I have. Oh, trust but, me, I have. I because, like, first... when it comes to uh, video games, and that's mine, when it comes... I know. I, Look, the I'm thing just, is... Uh, no, 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 look, look, I've been keeping up with this whole gun control debate ever since it re resumed. And that included the whole video game thing as well. And that, in that includes the whole Joe Biden asking um, for research, you know what I mean? Um, don't get me wrong, obviously you have been keeping up with it because you're a gamer, but don't count me out because I've been keeping up with it too. And it I've been keeping up with it more than just games. I've been keeping up with, you know, like which, what, 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 what kind of laws are they, are they setting up? In certain, mm -hmm. no, you know what I mean? Like how New York, they have their own little um, straight gun, gun law thing going on. Like I've been keeping up with every little aspect of the whole gun control debate. Like I'm not just mm -hmm. one dimensional, um, you know. Like like what what other aspects do you know about it? Be honest. About what? The gun control debate. Have you been hearing more about it than just the game part of it? I've heard some of the stuff. But, but yeah, really what really been pissed up with me it. off was the view. Oh, if you've heard about that, how they talk about it? Yeah. Ah, uh, God, no one cares about those bitches on the view. <laughs> All they do is nag. Yeah. And you just hate them. <laughs> they're such. A, they're more. The view. Let's just say this: the view is more of a buzz kill than Buzz Killington on Family Guy. Yikes. I went there. Um, yeah, and the thing is, the media only covers the the negativity of gaming. You know, like for example, I don't know if you know this, Bruce, but um, a lot of ga gamers have uh, mentioned uh, support a bunch of charities that are really good, support yeah. good causes. I don't know if you know about this, but there's this uh, charity called Child's Play uh, that was started by the people that make Penny Arcade which are the people that start packs, Penny Arcade Expo. And what they do is they help send toys and games to um, to over 70 children's hospitals. Wow. 
And, yeah, gamers, like, they play online matches to help donate with that, and people donate for it, all for a good cause. And then there was this other place where uh, they, were, they were helping this, um, this mother in Mexico because she had breast cancer. So there was a gaming tournament that was held in Mexico to help raise money for all of, for for people that are suffering for breast cancer to help towards breast cancer research and to help fund money for her. Wow. See, see, the thing is, these gamers they're helping other people, people they don't even know, but they're they're willing to invest their time in supporting of them. So what does this say? So you, so you're so you, all you people are saying that gamers are killers, and yet you see all of this, and the media doesn't cover this. Yeah, the media doesn't want you to know about this stuff because they only want you to hear the bad stuff because they want you to know think that gaming is just completely evil. Well, that is obviously not the case. We know this, but it just really pisses me off that around the media is that the general public is getting the impression around this from the news they watch, and I just hate how much of a bad rap that this me form of entertainment has been getting. And the thing is, whenever I see all these bad, all these gamers giving us a bad image, is that is they use that as ammunition. The media uses it. Like for example, um, I was at, um, there was this a video of this kid playing Call of Black Ops Two, and then his and I, I, I shit you not, his um, you know those gamer tag logos. Yeah. Yeah, guess what his flag or banner said? Wow. It said, <clears throat> New Town LOL. Wow. And so this guy caught him and he was telling him about what's so funny about New Town. And the thing I hate is it's little fucking assholes, little shitty punks like this guy that are giving us a bad image. It's one little asshole that ruins it, ruins it, our reputation. And I hate how stuff like this happens, where the anonymity of the internet just makes people say whatever they want without get, without having to get away with it. It's stuff like this that I hate, you know? I just wonder, like, is it always going to be like this? Um, like, where, or, where, or are people actually going to gr grow some balls, get a brain, and not be so fucking stupid? Uh, there's always going to be stupid people. Yeah, but I just hate. I mean, it's just, it's just not fair, you know. Yeah. I I mean, it's not I have to. It's not fair, you know. Like before this, I mean, violence has been going on since the beginning of time. I mean, I mean they're, I mean they're blaming people for killing, and yet, what's been going on since the seventeen hundreds? I mean, this country was started with guns. The Revolutionary War. And yet, everyone's blaming guns when they've always been here. So what's the big deal? It was the guy's mental health that was the problem. They're trying to find other things. They're trying to just make... A tr they're trying to find a solution by making up a problem which doesn't exist. Such as games? And, yeah. And I just hate this. I just wish that stuff like this wouldn't happen and the media would actually be trustful and newsworthy and people would actually give a damn about them and they would start stop spreading so much bullshit and talk about stuff that actually matters real world stuff stop talking about fucking Lance Armstrong start talking about real news because I just saw Heard that like bombs are going off in another country, so people got hurt. Why are you talking about Lance Armstrong when you can be talking about stuff? Not, that... not to mention Monte Teo too. Yeah, well, that's not important. Stop d talking about stuff that is stupid. It's not important. No, or it's done. And yet. start. Okay, yeah, and they're, yeah, then they're gonna find something else. I mean, just stop. I mean, when has CNN actually been uh, all about news? When has Fox been all news been 
about news. When was the last time NBC News actually covered news? I mean, come on. We, I mean, um, I don't know if anyone is even going to watch this anymore, but <laughs> you probably stopped watching a long time ago, and I don't blame you, but if you're still here, I thank you for watching. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about this, about the whole, how the media works, and blaming games as scapegoats, and how the violence and all this stuff, and the politics. Let me know what your thoughts are on this. We can continue this discussion later. But we've been rambling on about this, and I have nothing else to add, so... Uh, I'm sorry if this got a little too political, but I needed to get my thoughts out there, and I'm sure Bruce wanted to get his thoughts out, out there as well. That's all I've got to say. Um, we'll, we'll see you guys some other time, alright? Got anything else to say, Bruce? Not really. I all think right. I already made my point. Okay. Yeah. Alright, see you guys later. Bye.